Why do I look? Sheer terror. I've always been a goddamn pansy, I won't deny it. I'm scared of spiders. Most insects, really. Dark woods, murky water getting hit in the mouth. I'm a fucking coward through and through. I'm also delusional and conceited enough to think that there's something in my bathroom waiting to kill me. But like most men my age, I have better things to be afraid of than death. My fears have matured as I've done the opposite. More than anything, I'm afraid of dying like an idiot. I'm so sadly on the idiot. But if you think about it really, who would want to die in a cliché? We've all seen our fair share of teens bothered on cable television. More often than not, they're completely oblivious. They didn't check the back seat or open the closet door. Unlike the audience, they've completely let their guard down. And we can only sit back and shout out to them, Jesus, fuck, look behind you! Which is pointless, of course. Or please fall on dead ears. Now spare me that hindsight is 2020 business, okay? I'm not saying that I'd live through one of these scenarios. On the contrary, I'm pretty sure that if I were one of these idiots, I'd be dead too. Pulling back the shower curtain doesn't mean shit. The second I looked, I'd be a knife swipe, snapping jaws, amoebic tendrils distance away, with my inquisitive and rather fragile face placed generously within the attacker's reach. So why bother? I like to think of it as an act of vindication. A very self-conscious, neurotic act of vindication. Instead of lying crumbled next to the john like a hundred losers before me, my body would be slunk over the bathtub side, my fist clutching the shower curtain in a rigor mortis grip, and they'd have to know that I decided to look. I'd checked. I'd done what the audience was telling me to do all along, and it couldn't have done me better. My competence, my good name, it was all insured forever. You can't get that kind of self-security in the land of the living. With my death, my image is made immortal, so let those pizza brains laugh at the clink of curtain rings when I close the bathroom door. A little dignity today for eternal respect seems like a bargain to me.